Hello, good evening. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, so welcome. By the way, I am Teacher AM. What's your name? Um, my name is Fung. Hello, Fung. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Great. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Uh, I'm 20 years old. Wow, so young. <laughs> okay, how are you today? Uh, today I uh, have I have a lot of free time and now I'm very excited when I can talk with you. Oh wow, that makes me feel happy and excited as well. Okay, so are you still a student Fong? Um, yes, I am a student at un university. Oh, in what year are you now? Are you in the third year, fourth year, a graduating student? Uh, to uh, se second. Oh, you're in the second year. What is your course? Yes. Um, the score. Like the course, for example, me, I'm a graduate of Bachelor Science of Business Administration major in Financial Management. What about you? What is your major in college? Uh, yes, I... I am studying marketing major. Oh, wow. That's tough. <laughs> okay. What is your purpose in learning English, Fong? Um, can you speak again? Ah, yes. What is your purpose in learning English? Uh, mm, sorry, I cannot, uh, I cannot understand about ah, question okay why do you study english uh just um i i think i study english because i very like uh english and i think i i want learn about uh different languages mm. and the thing is just it's very useful for um my job in the future Mm, and I just and I want uh communicate uh with um uh everyone uh, uh everyone around the world the world. Yes. Okay, that's great because you have a goal and you have a purpose in studying <laughs> English. Hopefully I can help you improve your speaking skill. Okay, so yes, it is good that you are starting learning today. Is this your first time learning English? Uh, no, I had uh, studied English before. Oh, was it online too? Um, yes, I study, um, study online. Wow, great. So how long have you been studying English? Um. Uh, I have uh study English, uh about uh, uh one one years. For one year, wow, that's quite a while. Okay, so why did you stop studying English and you just came back now? Um, because uh, I uh before I went study um mm -hmm. uh, i want try study uh chi chinese uh, language but i think it's uh, not it's not uh, uh suitable with me uh, <laughs> yes okay so where did you learn the um english i know where did you learn chinese language is it Online or in person? Um, I uh, I am study a class, uh, of life. Oh wow! Okay, great. So, uh, tell me, ha, what is high in Chinese? 
Um, um, I think um, Chinese is very difficult for me, and I I cannot um, remember what new word, and and I cannot uh, write a uh, Chinese word um, in paper. Oh yes, yeah, because Chinese um words are and letters are difficult to write. Yeah, even me, I don't know how to write Vietnamese words or letters and even Chinese, but I know basic um Chinese words just like ni hao. Can you still remember? Ni hao. What's that? Yes. That's hi. Uh, ni- yes. Ni hao is just a you know? yes. Yes. Okay, what else did I know? I I only learned that from my students because most of my students are Chinese. Yes, so they will call me Lao Shi. What's Lao Shi? Lao Shi. Lao Shi. Lao Shi. Lao Shi. Like that. Ah, uh, just Lao Shi. Ah, uh, what's that? Yes. Uh, teacher. It is the same. Yes, it is the same teacher. Yes. Okay. And this is the phrase that I always say to my young learners. Neyoshima wentima, like that. <laughs> that means, do you have any questions? Right? Mm. Oh, can you speak again? Okay. This phrase, Neyoshima wentima. Oh, I cannot uh, remember. Oh, yeah, but that phrase is, do you have any question? Okay, so Fong, um, what are your hobbies? Um, I think uh, 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 there, there are many things make my happy. Uh, for example, um, my family, such as my parents and my sister, um both of them are very happy so um i i was so very happy and when i have good uh good uh strength strength yes i i think it makes my happy um uh sometimes i i i think when i can go out with my friend and talk a lot about my uh my life um is make my happy and i um i have laughed uh very much yeah wow okay so those are the things that makes you happy what about your hobby the things that you do on your free time hobby for example me Uh My hobbies are reading books, singing, dancing, and working out. What about you? What are your hobbies? Um, yes, I like uh, listening to music, watching film. Um, Sometimes I, I want to go to the beach with my mm-hmm. friend uh, or my family. Um, and on the weekend, I want to stay at home, uh, relax. Um, I can read in book and and I can I want uh talk with my family about my study and my life. Mm. I also like um, I also like uh, use TikTok. Oh wow! <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you ha- you are into TikTok very good. Okay, so you mentioned that you like listening to music. What kinds of music do you listen to? Uh, yes, I like ballad music. Ballad. And sometimes, yes, and sometimes I also uh, listen uh, rap. Mm. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, most of the men like rap, right? Mm-hmm. I am surprised that you are into rap. Uh, rap. Um, I I think uh rapper in Vietnam is very hot. Mm. It is the same with singer. Okay. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, so yeah, be, uh, okay, I understand that one, Pong. Okay, so what about films? Uh, what type of films do you like watching? Is it romantic comedy? Action films? Uh, I like um, romantic films and uh, K-drama films. Oh, same. I love K-drama. Okay, what's the late, I mean, the recent K-drama that you've watched? Uh, sorry, I cannot understand. How? I mean, what was the last K-drama that you watched? Uh, Street, uh, Squid Home. And I Squid Home um, have a, a famous actor is Song Kang. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Tell me about it. Um, it is, uh, it is uh, all oral films. Mm, and ex okay. action film, yes. Mm. Uh, is a true sex section. You mean two seasons? It has two seasons. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh wow! So you are also into um horror films. Okay. So me, the last K drama that I've watched is Vincenzo. I'm not sure if you've heard about it, Vincenzo. Yes, I has uh watched this film. Oh, what do you think of Vincenzo? Was it good? It's so cool. I I think yes. that yes. Yes, and of course the actor, the main actor is so handsome, Song Jong Ki. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my it's favorite so, actor. Uh, he's so cool. Yes. Um, are you a fan of him? Of. Uh, Yes, I am. Um, I'm a fan of films, uh, and I think um, it is um, uh, it is a film. Um, uh, it is an excited, excited film. Um, and uh, before I has uh, I has what uh some films have uh, Song Joong Ki is main actor. Oh, what what film or what drama is that? Um, I I think that uh, uh, this film have for for main for main actor um uh, for main actor. Mm. Um, and I I don't remember um name, but um it is um famous film. Famous films, um, in uh twenty sixteen. Oh, I think I'm familiar with that. Is it Descendants of the Sun? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, that's the first K drama that I've ever watched, and I am in love of it. Yes. Yeah, I for I forgot too. It's only Sung Jung Ki that I can remember. Yeah, and he's called their big boss, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, a soldier and a doctor who fell in love with each other. Wow. Yes. Yes. Um, That's my favorite K-drama, actually. Descendants of the Sun. Yeah, and I like re-watching it. I think I watched it for three times. <laughs> yes. Um, I also... Uh... Watch films, uh, try, try top. Three yes. times, wow, that's great. Okay, so how old were you when you started watching K-drama? Um, I have watched K-drama for a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. For a long time. When I study uh, in high school. Um, because I, I think in Vietnam... K drama and China films is very famous. Mm. Uh, um, and I, my family, are uh, often watch films, and I also, um, watch uh with with them. Mm. 
Oh, wow. It's good because it's like how you spend um, your free time. And it's like a bonding that you create in your family. That's nice. Even your dad watch K-drama? Uh, can you speak again? Um, does your dad watch K-drama too? Yes, my dad uh, also watch films. Like romantic K-dramas or horror? My father, uh, my father like, uh, I, uh, action, action film. Oh, action films. Yeah, same with my yeah. dad. Okay, every time that we watch K drama at home, my dad will say, "Turn it off, turn it off." It's better if you switch it into news, because he doesn't like K drama that is um that is romantic. Yeah, he likes action films, same as your. That I think most of the guys like action films, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. What about um, what's that like? Movie, um, that is in English or movie that is in Hollywood. Do you like Hollywood movies? Um, uh, sometimes I watch a Hollywood movie. Uh, in cinema with my friend. Oh wow! Okay, so name one movie that you've watched in the cinema. Uh, uh yes. Uh, I have watched films. Uh, Avatar, Avatar, Doctor Train, and yes. yes, and um, sometimes I go to the cinema watch Vietnamese film. Wow, that's great because you know what? One thing that uh makes uh, that helps us improve our speaking skill is by watching movie too. Yeah, especially yeah. a movie that has a subtitle on it, because sometimes when native speakers speak English, we don't understand what they say. Yeah, but because of the subtitle, subtitle are the words below the screen where you can read. Same with the K drama. Yes. When you watch K drama, it has subtitle below, where you can read what they are saying. Right. Yes. Okay. So that's one way that can help us to improve our speaking skill in English. Actually, that really helped me when I was young because I like watching movies. Yes. yes. Okay. Um. You said that you like going to the beach. Okay, so what are the beaches that you can recommend if I go there in Vietnam? Uh, yes. Um, my hometown, my hometown is uh, um, Quảng Linh, uh, mm -hmm. Quảng Linh, and it have um Hạ Long Bay. Is uh, oh. I, yes, I think it is uh, quite famous in Vietnam, Vietnam, and uh, I very. I'm very happy when I can recommend um uh, this place to you. Um it is uh I think it is uh, a great place to um to go with my family. Mm, mm, this um this have uh this have a uh, cave um Cave and beach, um, um, and I I very like swimming, and so I very like go to the beach. Okay, that's great. Me too. You know what? I am a beach person. Yeah, I like to travel, but most of the time that I travel, I go to the beach. Yes, because it makes me feel happy, peaceful, and it's like my comfort zone. Every time that I'm stressed from work, stressed from academic, when I was in college, then I will just have a weekend getaway with my friends at the beach. Yeah, we will stay there for a night or two. We will just use our camping tent. <laughs> yeah, so that we can, uh, so that we don't have to pay. Expensive rates of booking a hotel. 
Yeah, so that's what we normally do with my friends. What about you? When you go to the beach with your friends, do you book a hotel or you use your camping tents? Uh, what do you mean camping tent? Wow, oh, okay. So camping tents are like, um, how do I describe it? it? It is made of plastic or rubber where we can install when we are at the beach we can just place it on the sand then we can sleep there for a night without going to a cottage i'm gonna show you a picture what it looks like here uh camping tent like this Uh, yes. Uh, when I yes, when I go to be uh to the beach with my friend, I stay at a uh, hotel. No, and I I think when uh sometime if if I um go camping, uh we we will use the camping uh this uh, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> You can say camping tent. Camping tent. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. It's nice because you like uh, staying in a hotel with your friend. Okay, because when I was in college, we were broke. <laughs> we don't have money. We just want to travel but not uh, spend so much money. So that's why we use camping tent. Okay, yes, I've heard about Halong Bay too. Yeah, that and that is one thing that I wanted to go or to visit when I travel in Vietnam. Yes. Um. Do you have travel? I uh, do. You have any plans traveling abroad? Um, I think, uh, when I finish my, uh, finish my, uh, stem. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. When I finish my uh, lesson, when I um, study at school and I have holiday, uh, and then I can go to my hometown and I can go to the beach. Oh, okay. What about plans traveling abroad, like outside in Vietnam? Outside from Vietnam, do you have uh, plans? Um, yes, um, I have plan. Uh, I want, uh, I want go to, uh, China, mm -hmm. uh, China, um, because, um, uh, I like, uh, I like China films, uh, and, uh, in Vietnam have a, um, a singer quite famous in China and I very like her and I think I, I want to go to China one time oh because of her yes yes um what's the name of that singer um Chipu Chipu oh okay what kind of songs does she or he sing um she's uh she's song as uh, she's singing ballad song oh ballad so you're really into ballad wow yes. okay so why do you like ballad um because i think it is um chill chill and i can relax and before when i get uh, when i go to sleep I often uh, listen ballad song because it's uh, help me easy to sleep. Mm. Yes, um, that's true because ballad are most sentimentals. Yeah, they are very slow in tune and it is not annoying to listen to, right? <laughs> Compared yes. to rock or rap. They are they are a bit annoying to the ears. Okay, ballad is very peaceful kind of music. Well, that's really nice. Okay, so 
what do you usually do after your classes? Uh, just uh, after the class, um, sometimes I will uh, go to coffee shop with my friends to um, uh, because uh, I have homework uh, with my team and I need to complete this project with them. And um, after the class, we often have meeting, um, meeting to prepare information for my uh, homework or project. Um, but yes, but sometimes I go to, uh, go to my home. Great. Okay. What is your favorite coffee shop in Vietnam? Um, yes. Uh, I like, um, high, high, Highland coffee. Oh, okay. Highland coffee. Highland. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What about Starbucks? Have you heard about it? Um, yes, I, uh, I know this, uh, coffee shop. Um, have you ever tried Starbucks? Uh, no, I, I never go to Starbucks because, um, because, uh, uh, it's, um, quite far, ah, quite far with me. I see. Yes. I see. Okay. So what is your favorite? Um, coffee. Are you into Amer um latte, cappuccino, what? Um, I I like ice cream and milk tea. <laughs> oh, so you're not really into coffee. You are into tea, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yes. what flavor of milk tea do you like? Um. Uh, I I cannot understand this question. Ah, okay. What uh, what is your favorite milk tea? Um, in Vietnam, I have a famous milk tea. Um, is uh, called uh, is called that uh, O Long, O Long tea. Yes, and I think it's uh, help me, um, more uh have more energy to, uh, study, and um, I can work more effectively when I, um, drink uh olong tea, and um in addition, my friend is also like this uh, uh milk tea. Mm. Wow. How many cups of milk tea can you drink in a day? Uh, when I study with my friend and when I go to the coffee shop with them, I um I um, I am um, drink this uh this uh milk tea. Ah, okay. So let's just say is that twice a week every day how often do you study with your friend uh, um, uh, I think um, it's uh, when I have homework or uh, project yes. it depends yes, yes I understand that one okay what about your favorite food what's your favorite food Mm, I I think uh, Ludo is easy to <laughs> to eat. Yes, and also um, Vietnamese is known for its rice noodles, right? Um, Vietnamese have try famous noodle noodle. Yes, uh, the only noodles that I've tried, uh, is pho. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right. For P H O for for. Yes, for like it's very very famous in the now. Yes. Yes, I liked it so much. Actually, um, we bought it in an Asian store. It was my boyfriend who gave it to me, and I like it so much. Very thin noodles, but 
I couldn't uh, finish the whole cup of it because it was a lot of servings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, by the way, Fong, um, it's already time. Okay. But before I'm going to let you go, do you have any clarification or question? Uh, I want to um, ask you about your name and um, how are you? And, oh. yeah. and where are you from? Oh, I'm from the Philippines. You can call me AM and I am 24 years old. Yes. Uh, thank you for your, uh, for your um, share. Oh, yes. You're always welcome, Fong. Any more questions? Uh, no, I don't have questions. Okay, so let's let's call it a night, Fong. It's nice meeting you. I hope to see you next time and have a good night's sleep. Bye-bye, Fong. Yes, good night, teacher. Bye, you too. Yes.